Hello everyone and welcome back to another Echobricks video. Oh my god, I have no microphone. That is the second time that I've started recording a video with no microphone and I just don't want to take another take. Since... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, today we're going to do a review of a girl of Rivia from The uh, Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. Which I haven't honestly played uh, which, The Witcher 3. I've watched a lot of it, and also I love the idea of the game, and I've watched the show. And also this character is amazing, and also it's by Mick Farland. And sorry if you can't see the whole horror of the package yet, but I will do, uh, do stuff the package. Uh, like, show you everything, but yeah, this is huge compared to a Black Series uh, figure package. Like, look. And you can't even see the full top of it. Like, there's still even more up there. But, yeah, like, you could... Never mind, you couldn't even fit a Black Series figure. Uh. <laughs> but, yeah, this thing is just monstrous with how big it is. But, um, this... I finally made a formula. Or, okay, I just sound like an idiot right now. <laughs> or I basically made a... Mmm. Mmm. So, it's basically an order of how I review it. Uh, so, you'll see that review videos are more refined. It might change every once in a while. But, yeah, let's stop blabbering and get into this. Blabbering. I, uh, I hate myself. Well, anyways. <laughs> uh, you know what? Oh, wait, we should probably... Yeah, look at the box. But, there. It doesn't have that much branding on it. It has The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt, Geralt, Rivia warnings if you want to read those but <laughs> why would you want to read that um cd protections red hmm, is that like hmm, i don't know <laughs> it has the another witcher the three of the wild hunt and then also the back which looks awesome and then also the werewolf head uh 22 moving parts and then also in different languages um yeah, Garrett Olivia, Another Witcher, uh, The Three of the Wild Hunt. Doesn't have that much McFarlane's name on it. It just has it on the little flap that you hang it on. On the back and front. Oh, wait, that's just the... Oh, wait, that, no, that's the whole symbol. And then 14 and up. Too bad. I I, I don't listen to these. Why? It, it, it's just a figure. Why? Ugh. Well, anyways, let's get it open. I think... Mm can't see, since it's not the camera frame. Yeah. Ugh, you get to watch me. Oh my, this is in there tight. I've had this for like a day, but I've been dying since I just barely got my phone back. Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> Tripods are amazing. <laughs> Wait. If you can see it, there's a stand in there. How do I put it? How do I? Oh my. Well, yeah, that stand is in there. It's just like another part you can't yank it out. Oh, I'll do that off camera. Stupid peg stand. Now the box is all ruined. What if I wanted to keep the box and make it for a background? Well, anyways. Yeah, this. Oh, plastic. Plastic. Oh. Well, ow. Oh, that's great. I can't open this on camera because it's going to take too dang long. And the video is already nearly four minutes. So, ah! Oh, wow. When I was unpackaging unpa it, I just noticed that uh, one of them was already broken. Unlike that one. And also, you might notice that it might be kind of blurry until it focuses on the thing. Like a normal camera, unlike my phone, which had no focus. So, it was blurry 24-7 and you couldn't notice. So, yeah. Anyways, that took like three minutes of me just cutting and now I can just open everything but yeah let's get the witcher out this package is just complicated well there goes a sword well fine let's just do swords these are quick ones and then the werewolf head oh my I can... huh this werewolf head's a soft plastic Kinda weird. Oh, there's a nice head. But anyways, we'll get on with that later. Carol, mm. how dare you? And his foot's still in there. Crap. Mm. Mm, that's 
out of frame. I pushed my camera. Well, anyways, I broke his ankle trying to get it out. Wait, that's the wrong one. So I didn't break his ankle. I couldn't just cut it, so I just had to break it. So, yeah, that's a great introduction to you, Geralt. Geralt. Okay. Okay, that was just me dying for a second. It's fine. I'm gonna review since, yeah, that's why you're here. Five minutes into the video without even a review. Well, anyways, let's get into his details. I'm sorry that I can't figure out how to time a review since I don't have the power of editing. Toe. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So, first of all, you got the classic Geralt scar. Or, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I've been doing it. Oh my god, it's not focusing. Focus. Focus. This is what half the video is going to be. I can already feel it. So he's got the Witcher Wolf Emblem necklace right there. And also looking at this chainmail, oh my god, it's detailed. Like, you can see each and every part in that, uh, this leather, even so it's still plastic, it looks like it's leather. And you can also see the stitching and everything, all the straps, and he looks exactly like he, how he does from the game. But imagine how heavy this would be, and how quick he moves. Because chainmail, oh my god, it's heavy. And then, yeah, you can see like each and every single chain, and how it would be woven too. And then there's some more different colored leather. With more stitching that you can see, that's awesome. Then you go down towards uh, the belt. You, oh, oh my god, it looks like leather. Has leather detailing. And then also the buckle. This paint applications are amazing. And the thing is, I haven't even seen this with my own eyes, really. I've been looking at this through a camera. But then the belt and everything looks like leather. You can see the stitching. And then that hook. I wonder, is this a, no. When I looked at it, at the outside, I thought it would be to hang the werewolf head, but I guess not. Well, I wonder if you can. But then you go down to the knees. It looks like, uh, have the bagginess to it and everything. And I haven't done anything with articulation. He's, like, in the same exact pose he was on the outside of it. And then he has, like, these, like, <laughs> it's like they're attached, like, spurs would be, like, cowboy spurs, but it's spikes. And then also you can see the boot and different leather texture for the boots. So that's awesome. And then you go to the back and see uh, sword sheaths, which that's awesome. And then also butt. <laughs> and then you can also see that with his gloves, there's um, like metal knuckles on it. So yeah. And then also um, the glove gloves ha has a texture to it too. And then I wonder what that is right there and then also there's some just normal fabric under it with straps and everything and then also his hair looks amazing and then these are really nice looking actually so yeah that's about the details I can see and then also this is beard Gaze into the eyes oh my god that looks bad <laughs> But yeah, this thing has amazing paint app applications. You can see all the details and different materials that he uses. And then, let's move on. Now let's move on to accessories. Oh my god, that's going to sound bad in the video. <laughs> so, um, first let's start with his uh, swords, which I'm going to start with his silver sword that you can see here. You can see that, um, I'm trying to think what this is called. Would it just be... Mm, I can't think of pommel I think and then you can see the grip with I wish I had better paint applications honestly like wear or like dirt but no you can if you see closely I'm pretty sure that's a Latin writing or some sort of like medieval ancient writing and like engravings and everything since this is why I assumed it was the silver sword and also I I remember from the Witcher TV show also since this hill and stuff everything and then uh, you move on to the steel sword, which is kind of underwhelming. It just has a black grip with, uh, not, this has some chip actually in it. Why does this have chip? And then this is perfectly clean. But no, the silver sword doesn't have that much stuff on it at all, and it's just basic. 
But no, so far I do like this figure. I I, I don't hate it just because the swords. And then, the one of the best parts, or the best part, the werewolf head. Oh my god, this thing is amazing. So first, you start off with the neck. You can see where the throat would be. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> the throat would be, and then also, you can, also the blood. And then also the rope wrapped around it, his head so the witcher can carry it. Also a scar on his eye. Also sticking out his tongue. <laughs> and it's all amazing. You know, you can tell it looks like fur and it's a werewolf. Classic werewolf look. Well, kind of. <laughs> his eyes are white since they're dead and they rolled back. And then, yeah. And that's it for accessories. Let's move on. And now for articulation. So... I did watch a review of this guy before getting him, since I'm not going to be a person who just buys a figure just to complete the collection. I'm, like, buying figures just because I like them as a character and want them. I don't want, like, a hugest collection. But, no, we're going to go from the top down. So, first, with his head. Oh, that's not that much at all. You can't look up. You got some down. Not really. And his nose hurts. <laughs> it's pointy and then it's kind of limited with moving you have to kind of lift up the hair yeah you can move the head it's just very limited since the hair it I would say they should use like a fabric but that would just end up looking weird and it can get frizzy and stuff but then you go to um I believe hmm Ooh. yeah so it's a is it a ball joint yeah, it's a ball joint that goes up and down, like a trigger finger, up and down. Like, the thing that McFarlane likes to do, they like to do ball joints, I can tell. And then, I believe this is up and down, so yeah. So both of them are up and down, which you really don't need side to side too much. It would be nicer if they did that. But then, um, right here, it's a soft plastic. Like, you can see, I can push on to it, so it doesn't limit Because I looked at him, I'm like, wait, does he have no ab articulation? I'm like, wait, that has to be, like, an overlay or something. So you can still crunch. Oh, my God. <laughs> that looks so weird. It looks like his stomach just... Oh. Uh, and it takes a second to go back into form, but then, then it looks good. And then you can also... And also, I've been watching the Foosh. Go watch the Foosh. They're really good. Don't replace him with me. He's still good, but obviously still watch me. <laughs> but no, I've been watching him to figure out points of articulation and how to name articulation, since you can see how retarded I am. And then it goes all the way up about to 90. Both sides. Oh, wait. I'm trying to move his arm. Yeah, T-pose. Wait. So, like... Oh, wait. You can go even higher. So, yeah, I can go past 90. Since, um, this just, uh, tucks under that part so it doesn't hinder it at all. And I just realized I just made Geralt do a T-pose. <laughs> and then you also, um, elbow. It's kind of blocked since the glove and the wrinkles in the arm. But not bad, not quite to 90. And then, um, I'm trying to see, does he have a... He has slight butterfly motion. I don't know if there's a joint in there for butterfly. Uh, but, and then also you go down to the crotch, and then, whoa. Better than Spider-Man. Just like the Foosh says. <laughs> I'm totally not a nerd. But no, I, oh my god, that's good. Yeah, that's one thing McFarlane does go, a good compared to Black Series. And whoa, what is that double joint? I am so confuzzled right now. And yes, I just said confuzzled. Do not judge me. Oh, wait, the camera's crooked. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then you got that down. Oh, that's a lot of crunches. And then, can he kick his butt? No. Pass 90, really good double jointed knee. I wish Black Series, I'm going to do a video on my complaint about Black Series articulation and how to combine both the clone bodies to make the best clone body. Mainly since I just have clone, uh, both clone bodies on Obi-Wan. Well, I don't have the full body, but I have partial it. But yeah, and then he's got a ball joint on the uh, wrist, can go 360, up and down, side, no, not side, mm, side, side, side. And then toe articulation, which I've never seen. That's weird, but it's going to go good in poses. But yeah, I think that's about it for articulation. Unless you... Who, mm, 
side to side actually. Does he got hula hoop? Oh yes, hula hoop. <laughs> oh my god, this video is 15 minutes long. I need to hurry. Oh my god, this is gonna take so long to upload. <laughs> now let's quickly do some posts. Oh yeah, and you can store your accessories in here. And one complaint is that why can they just put more material and cover it since you can see the sword right there. It kind of blends in, but I don't know. I'm going to do poses now. <laughs> it is triumphant Geralt with the gear, with the head. And the reason he's triumphant is since he has a hand on his waist. Oh, by the way, he can't hang it on his hood. And oh my god, why won't my camera focus? Maybe I should not tap on the screen and make it focus only in a certain spot. Uh. And then basically this is um, inspired by a Skyrim finisher uh, move. Basically where um, if you're dual wielding swords, you basically chop up. Example, werewolf right here. Kneel and uh, make them kneel down and then chippity chop. Splat. <laughs> But yeah, that's like uh, one of the most iconic ones in my opinion. Since I, I am a huge nerd and I love Skyrim and everything. Oh my god, focus camera, 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 camera. Geralt's arms are too short to tie his shoes. And also I get why there's toe articulation. It makes sense like on a sniper, but I don't know when he'll be kneeling down like a position. I don't know. Like it'd be good on crosshair or a clone trooper. That would actually be really good. But no, otherwise when you, you're just sitting there and it's walking normally like that, it looks like an elf. <laughs> just saying. Oh my god, this camera is going to be amazing for uh, stuff. So I figured out you have to hold when you want to focus. Like, let me unfocus it. Okay, never mind. It's just completely focused right now. Um, But yeah, I just had to hold the camera and this video is getting dragged out. So I thought I'd just do a cinematic position of Geralt. Very vanilla from the outside. But cinematic. Might use this for the thumbnail. But, um, yeah. Please, um, uh, like, uh, like the video and smash that subscribe uh, button since we're trying to get to 100. I haven't set the goal when, but that's my, our next goal and that's when the next subscriber special will be. But, yeah, this is another Echo Bricks review and I'll see you guys next time.